Good morning, everybody. Today is February 4th. I'm Mr. Sheridan. This is Zoology. Hope you're all having a great day. Uh, for those of you who are competing in leadership contests or assisting with leadership contest teams, uh, uh, clocks, we've got less than a week now. Um, everyone who is competing from Dansville is competing on Wednesday, February 10th. Um, so we're getting down to crunch time. So those of you who need to get things memorized need to be doing that. Those of you who need to be uh, working on editing uh, resumes, cover letters, doing mock interviews, that sort of stuff, we need to get busting on that stuff. Uh, for the rest of you who are working on uh, uh, getting together your resume, here's what we are going to do today. What I've done is taken your assignment that was due uh, yesterday, not yesterday, Tuesday, and made it due tomorrow. So we've just changed this to turn in a rough draft to your final draft is due tomorrow by the end of class. And what I'd like for you to do, um, and again, all of the same things are, are included here. You need to have all of these things as a part of your resume. I would also like for you to go back and revisit some of the things in this PowerPoint uh, that cover resumes. Um, the, the snag that we have with a number of people that turned them in, and as you can see, we did not have very many people that actually got these turned in, although we do have a, few, a handful of folks that are doing leadership contests, so that makes that number looks not quite so depressing. But the um, for those of you who try to use live or livecareer.com, here's the issue that we've had. So uh, I, I asked Rhiannon, and she said that we could use hers as an example of kind of what I'm looking for here. She used her, she had started hers for a scholarship already. And it's, this was a document that she put together that just was in Word. That was a template that she used that um, if you have access to Microsoft Word, um, they have a number of different resume templates. This is a really good one. I like how this is laid out. Um, her specifically because she's applying for a scholarship in this resume and not necessarily a, a job. She, um, instead of this is where your career objective would be if you were um, if you were applying for a job, which is going to be most of you who, uh, you know, she has an extenuating circumstance. She's got to create this for something else anyway. So it's perfectly fine for her to make an education goal here. Um, I would probably be a little more specific about what type of education she is looking to pursue at this particular point in her education curve. She probably ought to have a little bit of an idea. I'd like you to be a little more specific about what type of four-year degree you're going to pursue. Um, but does a nice job of including all of her experiences that she's had, the education that she's received. And then down here, she talks about the activities that she's done, the achievements that she's had. These are all organized very well. The bottom half of this is really good. I might make a few tweaks in here with her experiences and education. I'd like to see her uh, throw some, some more information in here, some more specific goals, things that she's done while babysitting, um, especially if you are applying and using this as a resume for employment. You would, be, you would want to convey the skills that you're going to use in that job that, that you got from this, even something like babysitting, which is you know perfectly reasonable. But if you are applying for something that you can say things like manage time well with young kids, um, that you can you know say that you were on time when you came to work, say that you um, that you were able to manage multiple tasks at the same time. Um, you can use these in the same thing for down here when she she lists a lot of, of experiences that she had there. I would break those into two or three lines and talk about the things that you learned that are applicable to what you're talking about. The only other thing that I would change here is that uh, I would put that your expected graduation date um, is May 23rd, 2021. Um, just include that uh, uh, caveat in there that it's your expected graduation not that anything's going to change there, but that is the way that typically we write that on a resume. But this is a really good example and something that all of you could do if you were struggling with trying to get the, the livecareer.com to work. Um, a lot of those, uh, a lot of the resumes that I saw that were created on there have a really long paragraph on your career goals. It's basically summing up everything. And I don't know whether you wrote all of those or how that exactly works. But that career objective, I want you to go back to the presentation that, that I gave. That should be a one sentence, much more similar to what Rihanna did for her education goals. That your career objective should be a one sentence, like a topic sentence, like you are looking for a position 
in X, Y, and Z to further your career as a blah, 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 blah. It's a one sentence summary of what you're looking to do, what your career objective is, how you can, um, how this job that you're applying for can help you meet those goals. So, um, so that's what I'm looking for. I hope that we can make some tweaks and twists and, uh, and you can take that information. If you can go back into livecareer.com and copy and paste the information that you have into a, uh, a document, um, if you go into uh, whether it is uh, Google Docs or, you know, whatever it is, there's a ton of resume templates out there that I would recommend that you use. And I apologize for, throwing, for sending you in the wrong direction there, um, but that's why I'm giving you a couple more class days to work on this because I want you to take that information and have it in a place where you can edit it as you get more experiences, as you get more awards, more achievements, that sort of thing. You are going to want to have access to a document that you can edit. So you want to save this in your Google Drive. You may want you, and I would recommend that you copy and paste it into your personal Google Drives so that this is something that you can. So when you're applying for jobs, folks, you're going to need a resume. And if you already have one that started that you can just add a few things to, it's a whole heck of a lot easier than starting from scratch every time. So um, I recommend that you uh, that you get that saved so that you can use it over and over again. So with that, uh, I'll go through some others individually and give you some comments on how you can uh, how you can adjust and move forward. But mostly with the with the folks that did theirs on CareerLive.com, the biggest issue that I see right now is with the career objective. That should be a one uh, that should be a one line deal, and then the rest of your information should be talking about action verbs. I created, uh, you know, managed, grouped, uh, applied. All of those things should start every sentence when you're describing all the work that you've done, and we'll go through those as we uh, as we get closer. But for now, I just want you to kind of get that format down, make sure that you've got something, and I'd like for you to get those turned in by the end of class tomorrow. So with that, I hope everybody has a great day, and I will see you all back here again tomorrow.